Escalating energy prices and concerns about global climate change are forcing industries from transport to retail to seek new ways to improve energy efficiency. Those in China are also getting in on the act, committing themselves to improving the situation in the construction sector. But our next guest says these efforts are not good enough. Ronan Collins is managing director at IntelliBuild, building consultants to developers, architects and engineers. And he joins us from Hong Kong this morning. Hey, how and where do we fall short? Hey, good morning. Um, it's falling short in a, in a number of different areas. The, the, the key one at the moment is the building management systems. People are not actually managing their buildings efficiently. We're seeing a lot of energy being wasted simply because people haven't commissioned and tested their air conditioning systems and their lighting systems and their lift systems as efficiently as we possibly can. So do you see the region catching up anytime soon? Oh, I think so. There's a lot of momentum, there's a lot of effort being put in and the uh, building owners and the building tenants, particularly the large corporations, they're, they're, they're looking for ways to save money on their energy bills. So they're making a big effort mm. and they're, they're looking at it very seriously. Uh, what's driving that effort? Why are they trying to speed up the process now? I think it's a, it's a general environmental concern. Most of us are now wary of environmental energy, burning up too much energy. It's interesting, it's not a cost-driven attitude at the moment. If you look at the cost of energy for buildings against the actual cost of rental and the cost of the employees operating those buildings, the, the actual energy consumption is a small percentage of the operating cost of most companies. Now, Ronan, when you say that Asia lags behind the US and Europe, does that also include Japan? Uh, I think the Japanese are actually probably in, in the forerunners to, to the kind of technology we're looking at in terms of analyzing and designing their buildings much more efficiently. The, the Japanese have got a very, very good method of designing and building buildings, uh, and it's, they've got some very efficient technologies. They're probably in the forerunners in, 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 in the Asia area, and of course China is going to catch up very, very quickly. Apart from China, what other countries do you see more initiatives to make construction energy efficient? We're seeing a lot of initiatives in uh, Singapore where there's a lot of construction going on at the moment, uh, particularly in Hong Kong. A lot of the companies in Hong Kong are looking at this very seriously. They're looking at investing in modern technology, using integrated solar panels, using thermal energy. They're, they're looking at a number of different systems. Uh, can, can you divide the region between uh, the more developing and developed ones? Can you say that the more developed nations are, are speeding up the process as opposed to developing uh, neighbors? I, I think so. I think in the, in the developed and the more, kind of more developed areas, the, the tenants and the building operators are looking for greener, more efficient buildings. So they're driving the market at the moment. So the, in the, the kind of up and coming marketplaces, it's becoming uh, an issue, but not, it's not as real as, as it is in the more developed areas. If I understand it correctly, Ronan, you can start saving even before the building is made. Uh, computer modeling has significantly cut the amount of waste and uh, inefficiencies associated with design mistakes. Is this technology widely used in Asia? Uh, not yet. We're, our, our company specializes in, in getting people up and running using the technology. We specialize in what they call building information modeling, which is coined as BIM. And it's a technology where the, the architects, the engineers, and the contractors are all working together in a very sophisticated computer modeling system, which allows people to actually visualize a complete building project before they actually start pouring concrete. It gives the architects and, and the engineers an opportunity to design in some very powerful techniques for managing the solar gain, managing the lighting systems, getting better efficiency from the air conditioning systems, and then integrating all that right through into the construction because the, the systems allow us to integrate the 3D model into the actual construction program. So not only can the architects and engineers foresee design issues, but the contractors can foresee construction issues. But when you talk about energy efficiency, it doesn't necessarily mean your solar panels and geothermal energy. Uh, there are simple solutions that companies can adopt as well. Shed some light on that. Well, the light is exactly one of those, one of those issues. We, we're all very familiar <laughs> with looking at the skylines of Hong Kong and the skylines of Singapore at 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the evening, and they're lit up like Christmas trees. People are leaving on the lights, and they're just burning up energy for no good reason. There are very sim simple systems that can be put in place. You can put in occupant sensors. So you can put in little sensors in each room, and if there's somebody moving around, the lights will come on, and if not, the lights will remain off. Get the cleaners to turn the lights off as they leave different areas of the building. Simple stuff. For the air conditioning, we're seeing yeah. the, the uh, air conditioning needs to be better maintained and better commissioned. We're, we're seeing a lot of inefficiency in the way air conditioning is being, being used. Air conditioning systems running through the night for no good reason, just to keep the mice, mice cool at the evenings. 
quantify it for us. How much energy can simple practices like turning off the light save us? You can pull your energy bill by down by 25% pretty, very, pretty, pretty quickly. We're looking, at, we're looking at energy savings in some analysis. They're, they're, the ratings are based on the kilo, kilowatt hours per square meter of an office building or an hotel or a different buildings. And we're looking at ratios at the moment. Some buildings are operating at 320 kilowatt hours per annum per square meter, and we're being able to reduce that down to less than 200. So we can get savings of 25 to 40 percent. All right, Ronan, thanks for that. Ronan Collins, Managing Director at IntelliBuild in Hong Kong.